Hey, what's up, guys? I'm actually here bringing you guys uh, the last video for the bows. Uh, we're actually going to be doing the last video for the elders on how to. Now, the elders is Valhazak. He's probably one of the more different kind of fights. What people don't pay attention to is when you want to fight Valhazak, you guys should actually look into your book. If you look into your book, you will actually see that if you're using bow, I suggest you hit him in the face. Because if you hit him anywhere else, it will either be a little bit hard to reach, like the tail is very thin and it moves quite a lot. So I would suggest not to hit him in the tail. And then his chest. His chest area may look like you would do more damage there, but you will actually be doing one star. For bow is actually a lot you would do a lot less damage with bow than any other weapon in this game at the moment. At least for the most part. It's similar to I think this the cutting weapons in this game actually do similar damage as bow. But uh aside from that, just remember never to go for the chest. I don't even think any weapon hits that hard in the chest. Uh, for for Vahazak. So, aside from that, that I wanted to let you guys know to you know keep an eye out for that. I'm actually going to show you the build I'll be running. Now, the build I'm running, I'm actually going to be running the same build I ran against Karen. So, I'm going to be running 5 Constitution, 3 Fire, 3 Crit Eyes, 3 Weakness Exploit, 1 Attack Jewel, and 1 Spread Jewel. Now, if you don't want to run the five constitution and you want to run instead miasma gems, I suggest you remove out of the I suggest you remove wow. I suggest you remove the one attack jewel and the two physique jewels so you can put your three miasma gems. The only reason why I'm not running three miasma gems is because I'm not a hundred percent sure how many people actually have miasma gems. So for the purpose of that, I'm actually going to run the Constitution with one attack jewel. Now we're going to be using the Affinity Booster and the Evasion Mantle. And we're actually going to try and get this under five minutes. I kind of hope we can. We're already eight. And Vahazak is probably one of the more annoying elders to fight in this game. So let's go ahead and try um, dealing with this. Now, if you're not going to be running Miasma Gems, I suggest you bring Null Berries. Null Berries are actually really good. They're perfectly fine for uh, Blights, like Water. You got your Thunder Blights. You have Ice, Dragon, and then you have Effluvian. Now, you also have Fire, but with Fire, you can just roll out of the way. And Blast, I think you can just roll out of the, out, out of the way as well. So let's go ahead and let's start this. We actually have an investigation for this one for the first time. So let's go ahead and do it. Two golds. Let's try and get a gem. All right. Actually, we don't need this. So if you guys are going to be running uh, dash juice and you grab this little wiggly thing, don't use dash juice at all. You can actually do perfectly fine. I think that one will last you half the time that dash juice would. So, I mean, if you want to go half the fight without dash juice, that would actually help out. Let's actually take power shot off and let's kill these things. These things can get annoying in the fight. And we're missing one more. There we go. Now, for this fight, just to make it easier, I suggest you run, you use these little teeth that are on the ceiling, and you can drop it on him. Let's go ahead and start this fight. Is he coming? Yeah, he is. All right, there we go. All right, let's start this. around this way all right 
Oh, what the hell? No, I didn't want to take it off. Ah, oh, whatever. Alright. So we're just going to be going for the head since that's where his max damage is at. If you go for the chest, you will probably be doing 10 points less than normal. Alright. There we go. <laughs> that actually worked. Awesome. I wanted to do that on purpose. Alright, so... We're already breaking the face, and then we still have our bombs left. If you were to drop rocks, by the way, guys, pay attention to your teammates. Be very mindful of what you do. You don't want to be the person who knocked out your teammates and pretty much ruin the fight for everybody. All right, let's go. Let's get out of this corner before we get hurt. All right. Yeah, if you're playing solo, go ahead and use rocks. The rocks are actually going to help you. In this fight, you can actually stun Valhazak with rocks in this game. Alright, there we go. But again, pay attention to your stamina. As you can see, my stamina bar already went down by a lot. Alright, so we're going to let that go back up. Now... If you pay attention to this fight, he really doesn't do anything. Most of the fight mechanics is just him roaring or stepping back, shooting beam, shooting the ground. So like right here, he's gonna shoot a beam. So you can just get to his, I think it's his left side. Try to run to his left side or pretty much your right. So we're just gonna keep shooting rocks in the air for him. This is just to keep breaking them out of those animations. But like I said before, if you're playing with teammates, be very mindful of where your teammates are at. You don't want to be the person that knocks out your teammates. Alright, let me put some more rocks in the air for him. There we go. We don't want him to leave, so we're just going to flash him right here and keep the fight going. Alright, so he should be dying soon. There we go, we knocked him out. Alright, so go for the top of his head. Let's do this, let's finish this as fast as possible. I mean, if you are gonna drop rocks, at least call it out for your teammates so that they have an idea. There we go. There we go. We just finished that fight. Now, 4 minutes and 35 seconds. I think Valhazak is probably one of those monsters that would take a little longer with bow. Since it is 2 stars regardless of where you hit him. But, uh, at least we got it under 5. That's the only thing that matters. So, if you guys found this helpful by any chance... Uh, leave a like subscribe if you want to see more uh, share the video with some friends uh, maybe you guys might all want to run bow on Valhazak but if you guys notice I didn't even use one null berry and that's because I kept hitting him and stunning him when you keep bringing in that stun damage uh, on Val he would pretty much never um, he would never bring out the effluvian for you so we never used not a single null berry for this fight, but for the most part, like I said, guys, leave a like, share with your friends. The, you guys can share the link, but if anything, I will be catching you guys later. Peace out.